Hey friends, what if I told you the question which I'll be solving into this video was asked into Facebook equal interview. Welcome back to my channel. The problem which I'll be solving is a medium level problem but the logical approach which you will be using to solve this problem is pretty much interesting. Let's move back to our screen and start solving the problem but before that don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you want to receive such kind of interview questions related to SQL. Friends, let us quickly get back to our screen and uh, let us see what is the problem we will be solving in this video mind you this is quite interesting to solve so we want to find what is the overall friend acceptance rate by date so what is the data set here and how uh, we'll be solving through the logic so you can see i have a uh, column rather four columns here the very first column is the user id sender the second column is user id receiver the third column is the date on which you know the event happened or the action happened you can see the action and the action which taken place so you can see oh on this date what was the action so the action was the friend request was sent similarly on this state what was the action so the action was the friend request was was accepted so for example we'll take first two rows here which you can see and the same logic will be applied for entire data set so the user id sender you can see both are same and similarly user id receiver you can see both are same so this user id which starts with a and who, who did send the friend a request on this particular date his friend request got accepted by user id as b on the this particular date which you can see which is sixth and the action which was taken was accepted and we want to calculate what was the overall friend acceptance rate by date so what is the output we, we want to have so the output will look something like into the first column we will have be having the dates and into the second column we'll be having the rate so what will be the rate so the rate will be something like the total number of people who accepted the request divided by the total number of people who sent the request i'll repeat it again the total number of people who accepted the request divided by the total number of people who sent the particular request so this is the acceptance rate we will be calculating this how do we go ahead to solve this problem so the problem i'll break down into two parts first of all i'll take this data set i'll paste it into another sheet so that as usual it is easy for me to explain i will just zoom this a bit for good visibility let us do one thing let us put a filter so every action which i'll be taking here right now i'll be applying into this it's the same into the logic which i'll be writing so first of all i will filter out the data for sent similarly i will filter out the data for accepted let us do this and i'll just copy the columns here also i'll just paste this here paste this here down and you can see the two buckets which i have created here one is for all the requests which are sent and the other one is for all the requests which have been accepted so friends after creating both of these buckets i'll do one thing i will join these two buckets which i've created or rather i will try to say rather sub queries will be creating i will join these sub queries so what is the condition on which i'll be joining the sub queries let us rename rename this table as a and i'll name this table as b the conditions on which i'll be joining both of these tables is a dot user id sender is equal to p dot user id sender and similarly a dot user id receiver is equal to b dot user id receiver so this is the joining condition on which i'll be joining both of these tables so friends after this what is the output which 
what do you think what is the output we will be getting so after this we will be getting the output which will look something like oh, this is the output which i'll be getting here after i have joined these tables i'll do one thing i will delete this to delete so this is the output which we are having from table as one and this is the output which we are having from the table as two how do we go ahead to calculate the rate the acceptance rate so the formula looks something like total number of requests which have been accepted divided by the total number of requests which have been sent so what is the total number of requests which have been accepted so to get the total number of requests which have been accepted i'll do count of b dot user sender id i will divide this so this is a total accepted request the total number of people whose a request got accepted so this is that uh, those counts and total number of sent this will be a dot user id sender so this is a total number of sent request so this we will group by under the basis of the date column and we will get the ratio go to sql server management studio and let us try to replicate the same thing which i have discussed here i'll execute this very let us do a select star from facebook i will execute this statement as usual let us execute this so as discussed earlier will create two buckets so one bucket will be for actions is equal to sent and the second bucket will be the same but here now the actions will be accepted let us paste this below so what is the next thing which we need to do here so next thing which we need to do here is select let's do a simple select star from this let's name this as a we'll do a left join this the second sub query basically which is for the accepted so i'll just put this into the bracket b let us put this into the subquery also so what is the joining condition so the joining condition which i discussed earlier also let us simply copy why to rewrite we can use the same thing again so let us execute the query for now and try to see what is the output we are getting are we getting the same result which we discussed yes we are getting you can see two rows with null which are present here into the output as well so we are into the right track after this what is the next thing which we need to do through which we will be getting the acceptance rate by the date so you can see we have a column here which is a dot date i'll keep i'll write count of so this is the total acceptance so to get the total acceptance i'll do a count of b dot user sender i'll paste this so this is the acceptance now the total number of sent so i'll do a count of a dot so this is now total number of sent as we are applying the aggregate function we need to use the group by so under which column we need to group by this so we need to group by under the basis of a dot date let me execute the statement 
you can see we have got the statement or rather the output here and the total number of acceptance on this particular date is three out of total sent was four and similarly total number of acceptance is one out of total number of sent was two now we need to get the rate and rate needs to be into the decimal number basically they want to know the percentage so how do we find this percentage so to find this percentage let us divide both of these number so this is basically the rate let us execute the statement what do you think what is the output you are expecting oh zero this should ideally not be the case because if you remember we had three and four and one comma two and when we divide three by four it should ideally give 0 0.75 and when we divide one by two it should ideally give 0 0.5 but it is giving out a zero what is the wrong logic which we have applied here are we doing anything wrong the answer is no we aren't doing anything as, as wrong because when we are dividing any integer values the result which we get is also into the integer form so to convert the result also in terms of decimal numbers we need to either multiply the remain the numerator with 1.0 or denominator with 1.0 after you do this i'll execute the query and you can see we have got the correct output you can see the acceptance rate is 0.75 and 0.5 on the two separate dates so this was a kind of interesting problem i wanted to bring this down because these kind of concepts they generally ask into the analytics round the round one or maybe the round two also so this was a very interesting problem i hope you found this quite useful Don't forget to check out my advanced sql playlist for more such interesting videos and concepts if you found this video quite informational and useful don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't so meet you in the next video thank you so much bye